Nature has a spirit. Each trail has an energetic signature, a vibrational frequency, and guiding spirits that want to help us evolve on our path. The forest, the desert, the beaches, the mountains, the lakes, the streams, the rivers, they're all connected. They've been calling you with messages. The items I found from today's walk are this um, shell, this white seagull feather, and this piece of driftwood. So just choose the item that you feel called to for this week's reading. So let's go ahead and do our first pick for the seashell. <laughs> okay. So the first card for the seashell is Night of Feathers, Action and Focus. So now that we know what we've got for the beginning of the week, let's look at the midweek. Okay, we've got justice, truth, and clarity. And at the end of the week, we have six of shells, sentiment, and joy. So at the beginning of the week for the shells, we have Night of Feathers, Coyote, Action and Focus. And Coyote has an inquiry mind and is an intense observer. He's a reveler of truth behind the illusion and always cuts to the chase. Working with his resources, he doesn't let anything block his progress. Be aware and informed and know that you will be able to deal with any roadblocks as they arise by adjusting plans as needed. So then we're going on in midweek to the Justice card. The Justice card with Crow. Truth and clarity. At the portal of shadow and light, the seen and the unseen, Crow holds the gifts of ancient wisdom and sacred law. Her sharp perception illuminates the core of truth. She's able to discern what's fair and she stands on guard to ensure that such fairness is fulfilled. Crow will assist you towards spiritual self-awareness and standing by your personal integrity, you will awaken to your authentic self. Balance is a continuous process on the road of adjustment. Weigh decisions carefully so as to bring everything back into balance. You're the orchestrator of your life. Consider the results of all actions taken as your actions and thoughts shape your future. At the end of the week, going in the weekend, you have six of shells, otter, Sentiment and joy. Otter swims in simplicity of innocent joy to soothe her soul. Moving with the flow of childlike energy, she'll show you how to navigate with lightheartedness and happiness. She knows that fond memories of the past can regenerate the emotional self and will influence insight to enhance the future. Reconnect with your roots and revel in your beloved place of sanctuary and comfort. Past efforts will prove rewarding and a good memories revisited serve to add strength to fresh creative projects. Allow the emergence of positive new beginnings to permeate your life. So, in the beginning of the week, you're asked to really, to really gain clarity and focus and take action. Um, Midweek, you're also asked to take a look at your own part or your own role in the way things are turning out so that you become really self-aware. Then at the end of the week, on the weekend, you're asked to then take um, time to review that and, and, you know, it's okay to look at the memories, but focus on the good memories. You have a choice in where your mind goes. So utilize that to focus on the good and bring more of that into your life. You can hear the seagulls in the background. 
So for the feather for the beginning of the week, you have 10 of shells, blessings and well-beings with pelican. Then for midweek, We have the Hermit. Contemplation and Wisdom with Koala. Then let's look at the weekend. We have Reverse. Seven of acorns, determination, and stamina. Reversed. Have ten of shells, blessing and well-being with pelican. A consort of good cheer, pelican relaxes by the healing waters of abundance and warms herself beneath the invigorating light of the sun, savoring each special moment she takes time to enjoy what life has to offer. Loyal and social, Pelican recognizes the importance of family and friends, and she encourages you to embrace your inner happiness and to share in celebration with your loved ones. Enjoy the company of those you care about and look forward to many good times ahead filled with pleasure and joy. It's a good start to your week so far. Then we have the Hermit, Midweek, Contemplation, and Wisdom with Koala. A beacon of well-being, Koala is your guide in acquiring the rest needed to regroup and renew. A seeker of truth and wisdom, he illuminates the way. Calm and observant, Koala stills the mind so that he may access higher wisdom. His solitary retreats gift him with the time and space necessary for introspection. Koala encourages you to slow down and step away from the distractions of the world. Take time to gather your thoughts and find your inner balance. The answers you seek are already within. Seven of Acorns reversed. Badger, determination, and stamina. The fearless badger fights for his values and never settles for less than he deserves. His manner of leadership drives him to stand up to opposition without backing down. Badger will help you seize energy of determination to meet any challenges you're facing. The reverse message is, do not allow discouragement to cast a shadow over you. Be patient and trust your inner voice. So, this week, as you head into the holidays, um, visiting with family and friends, um, you know, you're going to have lots of good times and things like that. But midweek, you're going to need a little bit of um, you time, right? You're going to need to recharge, step away a little bit. Respect your inner introvertness, right? You're going to need to recharge a little bit, regroup your thoughts. And over the weekend, you may find that there's some instances where you just need to be a little bit patient. Not all of us see things the same way. Um, perhaps there's lots of waiting and, and things like that coming up, but it's okay. Just know um, that you know, you've got this. Just trust your inner voice. Everything you need is inside of you to make it through. Do the reading for the driftwood. In the beginning of the week, we have Queen of Acorns, Passion, and Creativity. Maybe. We have Three of Acorns, Foresight, and Exploration. And at the end of the week, weekend, the end of the week we have the traveler attention and potential okay so for the driftwood the reading we have the queen of acorns passion and creativity with deer vivacious and loving deer awakens the spark of life's fervor in those who are around her in touch with the freshness of life, she's ruled by her heart's passion. She's wired by boundless energy, and her sensitive yet fiery nature will keep her standing up for what she believes in. 
A visionary dear wishes to help you awaken your strongest essence of self-discovery. By tapping into your creative energies, you'll manifest your dreams. Be ever alert to divine insight. Give yourself permission to radiate with self-confidence. May your spirit leap higher than it ever has before. And then midweek, we have three of acorns with giraffe, foresight, and exploration. With the gift of higher perceptive, giraffe can spot what lies over the horizon. The fundamental segment of venture has been realized, and from her standpoint, fresh opportunities are being revealed. The wheels have begun to set in motion and momentum is building. Optimism will carry you a long way and your potential for productivity is favorable. Set your sights on the path ahead and thoughtfully consider where your life is headed. Carry your vision forward and be open to new prospects. Then we have the traveler with gazelle, adventure and potential for the weekend. Free-spirited gazelle is the explorer of new paths and the seeker of new adventures. Following his intuition, he bounds gracefully into the unknown. He swiftly changes direction and zigzags to avoid complications. The result of this ability, he's comfortable in his own vulnerability. Gazelle prompts you to harness your own youthful enthusiasm that will help fuel the way to new experiences and a bright future. At the same time, he wants you to remember to look where you're going when leaping into new terrain, with faith and optimism, allow yourself to flow with life. So, this is a great reading. Um, very cool the way that the cards presented this. Um, but basically, you know, you've got you're, you've got Deer who is leaping into new things and standing up for what she believes in. You have um, the the foresight and ex exploration of things coming up midweek that's going to allow you to kind of see a little bit in the future and look ahead and start to forecast things. And then you have the traveler um, where you're going to have some adventures and exploration on your horizons and, and to lean into the, the information that you gained earlier midweek to base these um, decisions off of. So it sounds like you've got a really excellent week ahead of you um, with maybe planning for going on for your next adventure in 2023. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you tune back in here again next week. Again, this is Jill Dell, and until next week, happy trails.